Alright guys, <coughs> welcome to another vlog, the uh, Smackhead Chic vlog, in the uh, job is from Uniqlo though, and uh, representing Cloudwater. Apologies if I've got stuff in between my teeth, just had um, stir fry and some corn chicken. That was nice. Uh, you can get like um, these pre-mixed you know, stir fry veg mixes from uh, the co-op. For like one pound fifty, and you can get some uh, egg noodles for like a quid, and you know one of those, a bag of that, and then just some whatever you've got lying around. Threw in some uh, tender stem broccoli that I had left over. It fed two people, so you know budget meals, mate. F fucking on it. But uh, yeah, so noisy vlog today, and it's now half past seven. So no walk, but I'm in the garden. Because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous evening. Work wasn't too bad today. Went by quite quickly, actually. And I've got like a, a Facebook master group with uh, a couple of uh, guys from work. So we were just having a bit of fun. Uh, having a bit of a laugh. Mainly at the company and the customer's expense, but... Listen, that's the one thing you realise in retail. We might be nice to you on the phone. And we might be nice to you in store. But you are the theme of all of our conversations, good or bad. For that day. But yeah, that being said, I'm not, I'm not really that sort of person who likes to, to take the piss. Unless you're uh, Mark Beer who wouldn't. But I'll let Harry and her. James deal with that. Doesn't really interest me, that sort of drama. He used to. I used to be a proper shit uh, with that sort of stuff. Trolling people. Um, if you're friends on, with me on Facebook, if you think my posts on Facebook are bad now, some of the stuff I'd share obviously would not believe or align with that. <coughs> but just the conversations, the comments you'd get, and uh, the most satisfying thing was seeing people argue amongst themselves. It's just fun. But um, yeah, I get tired of that. Although I do it every now and then. So, uh, yeah. Been a nice steady day today. Uh, when my mum came home from work, she had like loads of fresh fruit and veg. Because um, outside of a hospital, a, uh, a farm shop was selling some of their produce. And for like 11 quid, we got a bag of uh, potatoes, a few carrots, a couple of bunches of bananas, and then a little package of strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries for 11 quid. And it, it just, it makes you think, doesn't it? Why do we? And I know convenience plays a big factor, and cost for a lot of, the, a lot of things, but why are we so dependent on supermarkets? Um, and it's something that I really need to change because um, a lot of the time I am just dependent on supermarkets um, so why don't I <coughs> transfer this like uh, oh, supporting local craft breweries thing into my daily life with whatever because we've got a really good little butchers two minutes away um, at the Scalmastel Concourse, there's a butcher's in there, there's a green grocer's. Um, my cousin owns a, the sweet shop in there. And a lot of the times, you actually get some good, good values. But then again, the stuff that I bought from the co-op for the stir fry, you can't, you can't knock that either. So, you know, you've got to, you have a fine balance, but yeah, take, make the most of these small businesses nearby. Because you can get some absolute bargains. And they weren't just like little bags of like carrots and stuff. It was really good stuff. Not many people who think organic is better. Because a lot of the time, you just pay much more just because it says organic. But yeah. So I was going to do myself um, a little bit of a beer haul today. But then I realised that because we've just come off the Easter weekend 
any direct debits that I thought were accounted for all come out today and I mean it's only going to be a few days before I get paid and I've still got a little bit if I wanted to indulge so I might do that and I'm of the opinion um, you know a few months down the line this this will still be in effect so you know I've still got time to put money away um, for when later in the year I want to go out and do stuff because I'm telling you now, it would be an absolute mistake for people to just go about their daily business as soon as this uh, lockdown has been uh, lifted. <sighs> Cigarettes ran out. Bear me one second, but at least I can pause this video, so editing on the fly. Are we recording? Yeah. This is a habit that I need to kick. I'm at that point that I said I would never get where I'm pretty much like a pack every two days and I don't like it but it's just like the drink and I keep saying I'm going to cut down I'm not a level where it's dangerous <clears throat> in my opinion but it's still a little bit more than I like to drink So this would be the perfect time for me to detox, but then I'd be bored shitless, and then I'd just revert back to my old ways. This is uh, the thing we use to burn, like, paper and stuff. And as you can see, it's the remnants of when I used to uh, sneakily sit, smoke outside. So it just goes in there now, because I'm a scruffy bastard, as you can clearly see. So yeah. No tales to report, really. Um, uh, I've got a full week of shifts this week, which is good, so I'll get pretty much a full paycheck. Um, it was absolutely busy as fuck today, though, at work. It would be an absolute travesty if uh, the company I work for don't get in touch with people they furloughed or completely let go and see if they want to do some shifts. Because it would work in uh, the company's favour absolutely perfectly. And I know a lot of good people who are still unable to find any sort of alternative work. So it would be the perfect opportunity. Um, I'm not going to criticise the company I work for. Uh, there are some things that I just don't agree with. But I would really like to see them get more people back onto the phones. Because they did go a little bit gung-ho in my opinion. Um, when they were, when this all started, mm -hmm. and before you know, the government like announced, oh, we'll pay eighty percent of your wages. Quite a few people got let go, which is really fucking sad. But it's the story of uh, a lot of people's lives right now, isn't it? And I've just literally been walking around in a circle, like I'm in a fucking prison. But I am in a prison. But we've got nice lights, which uh, light up in the dark. Although, because we've not really had too much sun in the past few months, when you come in the garden, they're like really faint and flickering. And I'm just expecting a red balloon to come up from behind the fence and then explode into a, a flurry of blood. But, um, yeah, so I'm pretty much doing okay. Um, I've said it all along. Got no reason to moan. And I get annoyed at myself when I do get down because I've got family surrounding me. Double-edged sword, as most people will uh, attest to. I've got regular work, got really no overheads. Just so glad that I'm, you know, not in a... I'm actually glad that I'm a bit of a fuck-up, really, do you know what I mean? 31 years old and having to move back in, you know, to your parents' house. Um, but yeah, I'm in a really good position, and I should come out at the end of this quite good. Which isn't the story for everyone, so I'm not going to harp on about it, because I don't want to come across like I'm gloating. <coughs> because that's completely the wrong thing to do. There were loads of things I wanted to talk about before I turned the camera on. I was like, yes, all this happened. Yes, but no. It's just as soon as the camera's turned on, it's completely fucked off from my brain. Um... Yeah, so I still think I might do a cheeky little beer order today. 
um, I've seen that pressure drop. Well, thanks to to Rob for enabling me and uh, Rob from Hopsy and saying um, that there's some good stuff on pressure drop. Enough to sort of justify an order because uh, quite a few of the box shops, not box shops, web shops, there's like two or three beers available and a lot of them are like in four packs. And see, because I've just uh, uploaded uh, quite a few beer reviews to be scheduled over the next few days, I actually don't really need to buy like a variety of new stuff to review. Um, so I was like looking at places like Cloudwater just to like, because they've got a uh, free delivery on orders over 35 quid, which I think's good. Um, and I was thinking just like buying like a, a six pack of the double dry hopped IPA and then throwing a couple of things to take me over to 35, just so I've got solid stuff. Uh, I could have done the same with Northern Monk, uh, stocked up on some Heaven. But their delivery, free delivery thing is like up to 50 quid. And it's just like, ah, do I really want to spend 50 quid right now when I could spend 35 quid and get some really solid, solidly brewed IPAs and things. But then again, pressure drop coming around. One of the best breweries in the UK. Absolutely knocking out of the park. I <coughs> don't know what their sort of like free delivery threshold is, even if they've got one. So I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe this would be a good time for me to be an adult and just say, no, I'm not going to buy anything. If anything, I could do with more clothes, to be honest. So I might do another Uniqlo haul, see what sort of summery things they have. Because they've got some really nice jogging bottoms, which are in a sort of like um, a beigey colour. Which are sort of like these ones. Don't show you that here. Um, and they're dead comfy, and you can wear them outside. And of course, Rocking at the uh, can't even fucking see them. There we go. Can you see them? Rocking the uh, old sock and sandals, which is going to be my look for this summer. Although you might not see me in too many pairs of shorts because, um, don't get me wrong, I've got lovely legs, but then it becomes a lot more bulbous and spherical when you get to my mid part, and then I've got sort of like regular looking arms so yeah I'm actually quite happy with how this mess of a beard is coming but I don't know how well you can see it but I had to give it a trim there because um, it's starting to get stained from the cigarettes so uh, I look even more like a, a pervy uncle from the 70s <sighs> tell you what though first thing I'm gonna do um, once I feel comfortable enough um, after lockdowns being lifted Let's get my hair cut. I cannot be doing with this. Days like this, it's fine, even though the texture's really weird because I've had stuff in it for the past couple of days. But if I just go in the shower <clears throat> and just leave it to dry perfectly without doing.